Uh, right, Liam, what are you talking to us about? I'm talking to you about uh, job cuts at BT and I'm talking Huge. to you about the broader digital divide. Let's have a look at these job cuts yeah. at BT. I've got some of the numbers for you. So BT, you know, former British Telecom, 55,000 fewer jobs they will, ha they will be employing by 2030, they say. They, they currently have 80,000 staff in the UK, over 100,000 worldwide. So this is a big hit. 10,000 of those jobs are going to be replaced by AI, artificial mm. intelligence. And the reason for a lot of these job cuts is that BT is in the midst of what we call full fiber rollout. That's putting in the infrastructure for so-called 5G superfast broadband. That's likely to be completed by 2030. Britain's way behind a lot of other advanced countries, by the way, in that Funny full that. fiber rollout. But once that is done, then BT won't need nearly enough engineers. So right. this will be a blow. And the fact that these job cuts will happen very gradually over the next five to seven years, you know, that's some recompense. But there's still a lot of BT engineers out there, you know, with their with their full fibre vans going and, around. And they, you think and they've been all those years of training to get where right. they are. And where will they go with those skills, Liam? It's difficult. I absolutely understand it. It's difficult. And that's why I'm amazed that actually this story isn't getting more coverage uh, in the media, because this is a sort of skilled, yeah. you know, blue collar job yeah. uh, that a lot of people have aspired to for generations now working for mm. BT. Uh, it is highly specialised, but a lot of those skills are being made redundant by artificial intelligence. And, 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 and which, which fine we have the move of progress. Nobody, whenever we have this conversation, nobody can tell me what jobs these people are going to go into. No. I mean, what? When I saw Matt Hancock talking about it, he said people will have time to do artistic, artistic and creative pursuits. I was like, well, that's lovely. If you sit and do some colouring in, it's not going to pay the bills. Absolutely right. No. Absolutely right. And talking about um, people moving with the times, there's a kind of link story today, which is, is, is sort of connected to BT job losses. I'm talking about the digital divide. The digital divide is the number of people who don't have access to the internet. And it's increasingly clear that with this cost of living crisis, more and more households are just not paying their broadband bills. Oh. They're not getting access to the internet. That means it's harder for them to do banking, to deal with their, their utility bills. They get worse deals uh, to deal with their benefits. So much of life now is online mm. and this growing digital divide. It's the subject of a big inquiry by the House of Lords as we speak. But Citizens Advice Bureau, you mentioned Centre for Social Justice, yeah. I completely agree. Citizens Advice, another excellent yeah. charity here in the UK, they've just done a survey of 6,000 households. And what they've come up with these numbers, which I can show you now, it seems that over the last year, a million households, there are about 30 odd million households in the UK, so a million households have cancelled their broadband. That's there are around 10% of households now that aren't on broadband at all. Increased what we call digital exclusion, what I was just talking about. Mm. And 4.3 million are missing out on what we call social tariffs. These are cheaper variants of broadband, which the broadband providers, they're not mandated to supply but lots of them do and these start from around 10 pounds per month so you know 30p a day or whatever so very very modest but there are 4.3 million people out there particularly those on what we call universal credit mm. who are not claiming these social tariffs they're not getting broadband as cheaply as they otherwise I have a theory could. about this Liam. Go on, then. I think people are hot spotting from their mobile phones I think that may be part Which of it. It actually ties into the BT story. It, it, it may. Just, it, just to explain what that means. So just so that people, do, like my mum and dad, were going, what's she talking about? Well, um, I don't know what you're talking about. So, <laughs> so <laughs> if you have your laptop in your house, you can you can uh, connect to your broadband provider. If your broadband is down for some reason, you can turn on your hotspot on your phone and right. you can use that as your Wi-Fi to connect to your devices, you see. Ah. And so you might just be paying 20 quid a month for your mobile phone and maybe that's why people are doing it. I think it. there's a bit of that, but um, I, I've actually given evidence to this House of Lords inquiry and we looked at exactly that point on the digital divide. The trouble is a lot of people who are coming off broadband and don't have broadband, they don't have smartphones either. They have no mobile phones or they have those very simple mm. pay-as-you-go mobile mm. phones so you don't get a monthly bill, so you're just, you're just yeah. topping it up. Look, there are some people who just don't want to be on the internet, not, not you know, mm. sort of off-grid people. I'm jealous um, of those people uh, sometimes. Uh, uh, and yeah. cer certainly the elderly. But it's clear that with so much of our lives now going online, mm. it's very difficult to pay your bills 
you know, if you've got a kid at school, so much of what you get from school is now via email. 100%. A lot of kids yeah. doing their homework have to be online. Yeah. So yeah. the fact that over a million households have voluntarily taken themselves off their broadband package because of the cost of living squeeze, mm. broadband, it's almost, it's like a utility now. It's like yeah, yeah. water and electricity yeah. rather yes. than an optional add-on. Yes. And I know the House of Lords will look closely at these new figures from the, from the Citizens Advice Bureau.